your celebrity numerologist, and today I'm going to look at John and Kate Goslin. They've been in the news lately because of their marital issues, and so I'm going to look at their numbers, their, how their numbers relate, what's happening to them in 2009, and how their names are affecting them as well, because that's a, a big deal. So let's start with John. He has two numbers, two master numbers, 29 and 92, which mirror each other, his life, purpose, and destiny. That's a very, very strong effect, and it means basically he wants to lead, he's very creative, he has amazing ability to teach, and he may also, on the flip side, feel divided and have issues with the opposite sex. That sometimes can happen when you see the 29 and 92 mirroring each other. Even the 29 on its own can cause these issues to come up. Just a feeling of being feeling a little uncomfortable or having issues come up. So it's interesting that he supposedly had an affair, though we don't know that for sure. And um, he is born on a one day. And interestingly enough, his wife, Kate, is also born on a one day. And that means they're both wanting to be number one. They're very ambitious, very original, just want to lead, and uh, they, they don't want to come into. So they really have strong ambitions for their life. Now, Kate has a couple other numbers. She has an eight life purpose, and her destiny, and which is her career, interestingly enough, is the media number, 14.5. So that girl likes the media. She really doesn't mind having cameras around her kids all the time, having them even travel with her when she goes on vacations, she has bodyguards. I mean, this girl is media all the way. So she was meant to be in the media and she doesn't mind the media. As for her kids, you know, that's a whole nother question. <laughs> so that explains one reason she's actually being shown in a different light than he is. Now, another reason that he's getting more of the brunt than she is, is because his year right now is really challenging. He's in a 16 personal year in 2009, and 16 reduces to 7. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 is all about privacy, quieting down, getting out into nature, looking at your inner life. doesn't mean you can't do things like your work and, 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 and work on your career and be out in the world. It just means things quiet down and you want more privacy. And the 16 can often indicate if you have, for instance, if he did have this affair, like John Edwards did, he has a 16 name, the 16 will actually topple you down. It'll cause something to happen where your affair is made public. That's what this number is, and that's the number that John is experiencing right now in 2009, whereas Kate is experiencing the family number. She's in a six year right now, 24-6. So everything's about family for her. Um, any issues about family and love and home, that's exactly what's come up. So both of them, their numbers totally reflect what's going on for this year. And I told you I would tell you about their relationship. Well, they have three numbers in common, which is actually very good. Unfortunately, they only have two of six numbers in harmony and three in conflict. So, you know, it can work with that, absolutely, but you've got to work at it with that kind of compatibility. So I actually am not surprised they're having issues, especially because they're under the media spotlight all the time. I can't even imagine what their life is like. So yeah, I, it's, it's going to be challenging for them to survive this kind of media spotlight with those kinds of numbers. They can if they really work at it, but my sense is they may not want to. And like I said, Kate Goslin loves the media. John may not be as into this as she is. I'm not sure. Um, so, and then their names. Well, let me tell you, John Goslin, my gosh, one reason his name, his year is so challenging, I told you it was a seven year, where his current name is 43, which reduces to seven. That number is so, so challenging. I would say it's probably the most challenging name number you can have. It's being activated this year, so he's really having a tough time. Uh, it's, it's, I, I hope he can change his name. Just a little bit, a little spelling, a little letter needs to be added and his life would be so much easier. As for Kate, her name resonates to, to 42.6. Isn't it interesting? Both their names are being activated in 2009. And for her, the 42.6 is actually highly fortunate. It's definitely helping her. And it's all about family. Again, family, family, family. She has eight kids. Her life purpose is eight. So 
you can see how all these numbers give you so many clues about why things are happening when they do and uh, one more little thing I'll throw in they were born they were married on a 12 day the 12th of June and 12 can indicate that there may be victimization in the relationship so again all these numbers are just windows to what's happening into your life right now and they reflect how your birth blueprint is going to going to express itself during your life so for John and Kate it's definitely huge huge here if you want to know more about your own numbers just go to my website and sign up to my free newsletter at tanyagabrielle.com I write about current events and celebrities all the time it's lots of fun you can find out about numerology that way and just remember your name is your calling card so make sure it's fortunate Thank you. I'll talk to you soon.